Our next program is going to have you do more code. So once again, we're going to use mouse click events, and this is going to be what your final code should look like. I'm going to have three penguins or three of some other object. It doesn't have to be penguins, but I do recommend that you use something with, that's basically white because we're going to change the colors, and if the object that you pick already has a lot of color in it, it's not going to show. So that's why I picked penguins. There are some other white objects around, so you want to find something that's very light. And these are just cones or, that I've turned on their sides. And I'm going to click on a cone color, and the penguins are going to hop, turn colors, and say something. I can do this in any order. I can do it as often as I like. And then finally, I have just a plain box here. When I click on the plain box, they go back to normal. So I have an interactive program that lets me click on penguins in any order and return them back to normal. So what are the steps to this program? Well, of course, you have a comment block at the top with the, the um, programmer name, date, and we're going to call this Snow Festival, so you can even include that in there. You're going to set your scene with some objects. You have three or more of some objects, and they can be different objects if you want, but I do recommend that they are of the same class. So all of these are flyers, and I'm going to have some props down here, and I'm going to have some a, a, another prop that's going to turn it back to normal. I'm going to create one procedure, and I've done it in the flyer class. See right here, and I just called it Spotlight. And in this, I've just, and you can have it do whatever you'd like, but I had mine move up and down, change color, and say something. So I added in a couple of parameters. I could even add in one more for how high it jumps. So you can really customize this, what you want to happen when you click on it. It does not have to look like mine. But you wanted to do something, and you want it to be fairly consistent with some parameters. And then I have a message. So this is the one thing that's going to run. And then, of course, I have several event listeners one for each cone and one for the box. I can use a do together for all of my penguins with mouse clicks. And then when I'm calling in my spotlight procedure, I'm just setting my parameters. So this is the basic program. You're not going to need a lot of help with this one. You should be able to do all the code on your own. So think about what the requirements are. You have a comment block at the top. You're going to have one program instruction. You're going to have a procedure with parameters for your object, and then you're going to have events for each of these props. So have fun with this, and when you're finished, save everything, give it the appropriate name, and turn it into the backpack for a grade.